Okay, so I just duffed the same snook four times in a row, probably the best one of the day for me so far. And I know why I did it. It was just a common mistake that trout guys that go to the salt do. And I'm a trout guy, I live in the mountains, and I, I've been fishing the salt for 25 years, and I love it, I do it every chance I get, but I still make common mistakes that trout and salt guys make when they try and switch back and forth between the two. So when we're, when we're in the uh, streams fishing streamers, which is equivalent to what we're doing now, I'm throwing a seducer here. We, we tend to strip the fly with the rod in here because when we go to set the hook, we generally lift the rod. And obviously in the salt, you can't lift the rod. You have to strip strike. So I got lazy or just went back to what I, was, I normally do and I'm sitting here stripping like this. And when it came time to strip strike, I got nowhere to go. So really important for, for Rocky Mountain anglers, trout guys, when you're out here in the salt and you go to strip strike on a tarpon or bonefish, any, anything, you need to get that arm out here while you're stripping so that so that you have a good long strip but then you can also hammer them you can button down you got somewhere to go with the line as opposed to just hitting yourself in the hip or the stomach or something so just to try and keep that in mind get your arm out there it's a it's a common mistake and you know the fishing starting to pick up i'm going to try and pay a little bit better attention i got a really nice little hole right down here below me it looks like so I'm gonna go try and do it right this time. <laughs> 